Hey, I'm Gary with Tennessee Stands, and welcome to our COVID dashboard on TennesseeStands.org. Um, on this first chart you're looking at right here, uh, it, we reference our uh, daily testing um, for the state of Tennessee. And actually, um, as we open up this daily testing chart, um, what you're seeing here is for the for the entire state of Tennessee. But but please notice um, here in the upper left hand corner, you can filter down by county. Uh, and you can also narrow down the dates that we're looking at. But one of the primary things that we want to show you um, in this testing data is the correlation between the amount of testing and the amount of new cases being reported on a daily basis here in Tennessee. And as we look at testing versus new cases, we also want you to pay close attention to the trend line of percent positives because that's that's key. Um, all right, so if we open up this first chart, you can see in, in the light blue, uh, which represents negative tests, uh, but also the light blue plus the dark blue, that's the total number of tests done. You can see every time there's a peak in the, a total, the total amount of tests, those peaks in testing correlate to the peaks that you see of cases positive, right? Which makes sense. The, the more cases you do, the, the more testing that you do, the more positive cases that you find in the population. So those two things match precisely. But I want you to pay attention to something here. You can see that right at the beginning of October, our percent positive uh, in, in testing starts to go up. Beginning of October, our percent positive was sitting somewhere around 6%. And now we're somewhere at around 175 to 18% uh, thereabouts, percent positive, which means that um, the respiratory infection season started in October like it always does, and Tennesseans started getting sicker and contracting um, uh, COVID-19. Uh, however, key point, uh, that trend and that spike happened way before Thanksgiving. This had nothing to do with a super spread Thanksgiving event. This trend line started going up way back at the beginning of October, um, like a typical flu season, we know COVID's not the flu, but it's something it's something to compare it to trend-wise. And what you see every year is at the beginning in October, um, these case numbers start to rise. And so we saw the same thing happen with COVID here in Tennessee. But I want you to notice something um, here in December. Uh, let me go back to this other chart. You can see this here, uh, this chart is specifically new cases reported. Um, and let's take a look at that. So new cases began to dramatically spike towards the beginning of November. And this, the storyline there, if you just watch the media is, oh my God, new cases, new cases, new cases. What you, what you don't see here by just looking at cases, if you're not looking at the testing is that the amount of testing we did dramatically increased. So of course you're going to find more cases. But what did not dramatically increase was the percent positive. So so this spike in cases on this particular graph corresponds to, to, to this same area here. So let's go back to this chart. So you can see in where we had this spike in cases, right? The trend line for percent positives pretty much starting at the beginning of December, flattened out. What that means is that <laughs> we reached a point where no matter how many new cases you find, though, though because of an increase of testing and a spike in testing, it shows a dramatic increase of new cases being found, there's no increase in the amount of people being sick, right? So the same amount of your population uh, being tested is is still getting COVID no matter how many new cases you're reporting because you're doing more tests in a specific amount of time. So for example, from the beginning of December until now, the percent positives, which is roughly, it looks like it's averaged around 17 and a half percent or so, has stayed flat, which means there's no exponential increase in COVID transmission. That really represents an, an RNOC, an, a one-to-one a, a -one transmission if your percent positive is staying flat. And as soon as that percent positive, which it will, begins to trend down, 
uh, then you would say that the spread of COVID is starting to decrease in the population. But the point to keep in mind is that the amount of testing that spiked dramatically in December, which directly correlated to a dramatic spike of cases reported, had nothing to do with a dramatic spike in the, the rate of spread of COVID. The rate of spread has been consistent from the beginning of December until now, as you can see here with this percent positive trend line. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Uh, this information is updated on a daily basis. Uh, these charts are interactive, as you can see. And so please come back to TennesseeStands.org slash COVID dashboard as we continue to help you know the truth about COVID data.